here we have a 12 year old girl. She is also on an IEP. She's been on an IEP for years. The school is aware of that. Who all she does is videotape a fight. She's not a part of the fight. She's not in the fight in any way. The school is aware of that when they intervene in the fight. Yet for some unreasonable, asinine reason, instead of focusing more on the two kids who were fighting, the administration here and the educators as well as the police turned their actions and targeted the innocent bystander. Because ja Jaquela had recorded this, they decided that they would come in and traumatize this kid. They falsely told her that she committed a felony for recording a fight. We heard the principal on the body cam footage say she wanted Jaquela off her campus. For some reason, she wanted Jaquela off the campus more than the students who were fighting. We heard other educators say we want to make an example out of Jaquela. For some reason, they wanted to make more of an example out of the innocent bystander than the two students who were fighting. And so they acted upon those things that they expressed as bad actors. They took Jaquela to a secluded room. They held her there for approximately an hour, if not more, against her will, without her consent, because they wanted the cell phone video of the fight. And we heard their reasoning. It was not to protect any children, more so it was to protect the reputation of the school. As they said, it may get put on social media. This 12-year-old girl, girl there, traumatized, wanting her mother, crying, but that wasn't enough. Enter the police. The police who are supposed to be trained to know what probable cause is. To know that they cannot effectuate an arrest without probable cause. To be able to know the difference between a felony and a non-crime. Yet for some reason, they agreed with the school system here to continue to antagonize Jaquela to the point where they falsely arrested her and charged her. And they created the situation to effectuate the false arrest. So we are here today as her counsel to say that we will not tolerate bad actors in the school system traumatizing, battering, assaulting, falsely arresting, falsely imprisoning our children. And when I say our, we don't just mean black children. No child should have endured what Jaquela had to go through. And the damages are great. I said school district, police department, Manatee County, I said the damages are great for what you've done to this child and you will be held accountable legally.